the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 4, everybody. I'm meteorologist Hunter Vinstock. I'm going to start off with a look at the weather alerts across North Dakota right now. We currently have a wind chill advisory in effect until this afternoon, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. After that, a wind chill warning is going to pick up and be valid until 12 p.m. Central Standard Time on Monday. Now, this is for those really cold, frigid temperatures. We're talking 50 below zero with the wind chill. You could see frostbite in five minutes to expose skin. Our winter weather advisory for Sunday, uh, it's going to be valid at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time this afternoon until Sunday at 6 a.m. Now that's for blowing snow and reduced visibility in the most more central and southern regions of the state where we could see some near whiteout conditions. And looking at a storm team radar, we have some flurries across the state right now. Overall, nothing too, too crazy right now. In Bismarck, Minot, and Dickinson, they have seen their snow this afternoon already. Bismarck, right now, temperatures are going to be in those single digits below zero. Winds out of the north, northwest at 22 and wind chills feeling like 33 below zero. These temperatures are just frigid right now. Temperatures in Dickinson is going to be 15. Winds out of the northwest at 22, feeling like 43 below zero. Really cold, frigid temperatures. Now this afternoon, we're going to see 15s and 25s across much of the state. But rolling into Saturdays, where we're really going to see those winds. We're going to see 30s and 35s up through the north, and 40s and 45s, maybe even isolated 50 down in the more southern regions of the state. Overall, it's going to be a really windy day on Saturday. Now, I-94 travel between Dickinson, Bismarck, and Jamestown is really going to get rough in this time period. We're going to have that snow, blowing snow, and all that stuff. But for, live, live from the interstate is Carolyn Gursky. Good, good afternoon, Carolyn. All right. Well, thanks, Hunter. We're currently on I-94 driving, and we got our winter car safety kit here, and you're definitely going to want to have one for the winter months and this weekend, especially with those cold winds and blowing snow here. So some of the things we have in it, we have a glow stick, which is good if your flashlight, you want a normal flashlight, not just your phone, doesn't work. We have an emergency blanket, probably have a throw blanket or something in there as well as an emergency blanket, gloves, great thing to have as well as a hat you lose a lot of heat throughout your head jumper cables also a great thing to have here we got cat litter in the back we got some shovels you never know when your car is going to decide that it doesn't want to work anymore and you're going to get stuck so if you get stranded in the winter months we do have some tips from the bismarck police to let you know about that if you are stranded stay with your car make sure that it's not the, the tailpipes uh, free of uh, you know, not covered by snow so you don't get carbon monoxide and run your car, you know, for 10 minutes or so and then shut it off a little bit. All right, so with this stuff, you know, it's always better to need it and or have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So make sure that you put that in your car and stay warm this weekend, stay safe, stay updated on the latest forecast. And live with the KX Storm Team and KX News, I'm Carolyn Gursky and I'll go ahead and toss it back to Hunter. Thanks for the tips, Carolyn. Now getting back to these wind gusts, rolling into Satur Saturday night into Sunday morning, we're going to see 15s to 25s widespread across the rest of North Dakota. But overall, it's nothing we haven't seen before. And then wind speed and directions right now for across much of North Dakota. We're out of the north northwest in the teens to maybe the low 20s across much of North Dakota. And these winds will slowly pick up over the night until we get to those really fast winds tomorrow morning. Looking at our temperatures right now, we're in the teens below zero, maybe some single digits below zero but everybody's below zero. It's really cold and it's going to only continue to drop as the night progresses. Now our wind chill report brought to you by Absolute Comfort Plumbing and Heating has those temperatures 40 below zero over there in Garrison. So we have 30s and 40s below across the state right now and it's only going to get colder as those wind speeds pick up through the night. Now our wind chill forecast for tomorrow morning, we're looking at 40s and 50s below zero for much of North Dakota. Now down in that southwestern corner, some of the models are suggesting that we could see some temperatures as low as 60 below zero. So you're not going to want to go outside. You could get frostbite within five minutes at these temperatures. So you're going to want to stay home and stay safe. Sunday is a similar story. We're looking at 40s below zero across much of the state. We're finally going to come up a little bit come Monday where we're going to see those 30s below zero. Tuesday, we're going to see 20s below zero, and Wednesday, finally out of that deep freeze, getting to those single digits again. Looking at our precision cast, we have snow this afternoon, and it's going to be that way through Saturday, and then it's going to clear out Saturday evening and Sunday. Nice, clear, clear day. 
Monday is a similar story. Now, as we roll through the week, Tuesday a little clearer, and then Wednesday we have another shot at snow. We'll keep you updated on snowfall totals for that system, but overall we're only looking at an inch to two inches for this stuff that's coming in the next couple of days. Our Williston five-day forecast has teens below zero for the weekend, warming up on Monday, and finally getting above zero for Tuesday and Wednesday. Dickinson is a similar story. Teens below zero for tomorrow. Sunday is going to be single digits below zero and warming into the next week. Now, we're starting to see these warmer temperatures relatively, but it's going to be nice and cold. We're looking at teens below zero, finally warming Tuesday into next week, and then same story for Bismarck. Those temperatures are going to be frigid out there. I mean, you got any dogs to walk, Taylor? I, I don't, do you? Actually, I have two dogs. Uh, yeah, you better make sure that those dogs have some boots or something. Cause yeah, my little dog is not liking the uh, snow so much right now. It makes me so sad to see all like the puppies and kitties that are out there and maybe don't have homes. So yeah. that's, that's sad. Makes me sad. But hopefully they can survive these very, very frigid temperatures because it gets too much for them sometimes. Yeah. So. I mean, if they're North Dakota born and bred, they're probably meant for this just like we are. Maybe, huh, maybe you're right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hunter. Still to come on KX News at 4.